they are the stuff of us. Bones are the stuff of us. I'm often asked why bone. It's what gives us uh, physical strength. I use it to represent emotional strength or weakness. I'm currently working on an exhibition for Martin Brown Contemporary. It's a continuum of the work that I've been uh, focusing on after a trip to the Antarctic. I spent December last year down in the Antarctic. I sailed down on a ship called Orion with the Australian Antarctic Division. They were leading a fleet of boats that were going down for the centenary of Mawson's reaching the South Pole. While I've worked through the stories of the explorers and been really entertained by them, I'm looking more at the human and, and animal interaction down there. The historic records of the dogs and the ponies that went down there are fascinating and quite inspiring. The exhibition is called Set in Bone. Uh, and I'm continuing to work with bone as a medium because I just it has endless fascination for me. It's at the core of how I think and what I do. Another piece that I've got in this exhibition is a woven piece. For me, it's a very different type of weaving. I've been weaving a shroud and the shroud makes reference physically to a late Egyptian type of shroud that's made as just one layer over a mummy. I'm using one particular bone for, for my weavings. It's a bone that I've used in other sculptures, but I tend not to use it because it's a very, very fragile bone. It's a bone that comes from a chicken neck, and there's only one of them in every chicken. I've dyed them. I've counted them, I've sized them, and just in the very top band, there's over 1,300 bones. Those poor chickens. <laughs> this show pulls a lot of things together that I've been thinking about living through and working on. I've had a drawing that's come in and out of my life and it's a drawing by Peter Booth and it's a drawing of the Three Graces in black and white. The Three Graces in history, across Greek, Roman history, artists for centuries have drawn on inspiration of the Three Graces. Essentially, they are um, present at any good time. My Graces, are heavily embroidered women. They are canvases to embroider the tapestry of beauty and lightness on. And I have given them a veil of privacy for a lot of the beauty and the delicacy that they bring and share together. Because of the autobiographic nature of my works, they are highly personal. They, they're my travel companions, they're my, they're snapshots, they're the charm bracelet. My sculptures are, they're delicate, they're strong. I hope they've got what it takes to stand on their own. <laughs>